here we are, the third part of the adventure. So it should be a lot of fun today catching these fish out here in the uh, Florida waters. And on the old golf today. Well, it's time to go meet the captain and get a game plan put together. So I'm Captain Tim No with Gulf Coast Offshore. Uh, we're going to be going out today looking for uh, African pompano, yellowtail snapper, red grouper, and we might have some other oddball things that are going to come in the mix there. What are we on? Uh, we're on a 42 Freeman, um, rigged up, ready to go, uh, quad 350 Suzuki's, cruises out about 40, 45 miles an hour. It's going to be a great ride out. It's going to be a great day. This is the guy that wakes up early for right here, huh? Oh yeah. That's what we live for. We get down to the dock, we see the boat, and it is huge. Talk about first class boat. Ricky Carpool Jr., what are you thinking here, buddy? Nice boat. Gonna kill the fish. Looks like you're gonna be able to kick back, relax, and we got a 60 mile run. All right, Big Rick Harpo is up the bat first. <laughs> He's got what we think is a big African pot on the line. Let's see if he can get it in the boat. Well, for like five minutes, we didn't know what we had, the pair of us. And as the fish got closer to the top, I never seen it. It's a, called an African pompano. It was like that big, big, beautiful fish. Well, the ice is broke. What a fish. Just got a nice African pompano out here right out of Sarasota, Florida. Gulf Coast offshore. My man Rick here. We just got this guy right in the boat. Very first bait. So we're going to put a couple more out and see if we can get one more to make our limit. And then we're going to go get some snapper and we're going to get some group. Awesome. Well, Ricky was up the bat next. Didn't take long. He had a big fish on the line. My son hooked into a giant barracuda. Reeling it up, and once it starts getting to the top of the water, we see that it's a barracuda, and it is huge. Get a picture from Holy teeth! <laughs> Let me get this hook out of him, so we'll talk about a big fish. All right, guys, we just got this big barracuda while we we're fishing for the African pompano. Oh, he's a little angry. He's a little angry. A um, little bit of a bycatch. We really don't want to keep this guy. We'll let him live, so we're going to let him go. All right, here he goes. See you, man. This is our second pump now, and uh, that should max out our limit. This one's just a little bit smaller than the other one, but we got our first two. We're probably gonna start running out, go for our yellowtail snapper and our grouper, and see if we can find a tuna in the mix somewhere as well. Well, we just switched location. We're gonna target yellowtail snapper. As you can see, Tim is chumming the water, and the water is starting to fill up with Amico Jack. 
you know, we have to try to get our baits through those Amico Jack, kind of get down to where the Yellowtail Snapper are. Well, the Amico Jack are biting pretty heavy. All three guys are hooked up at once. Alamos, you must have caught 30 of them. King. <laughs> That's what we do. We got 13 catch fish. Well, finally, Heath breaks the ice. It's first yellowtail snapper of the day. Slow down, slow down. Give me a kiss. Great yellowtail snapper. Nice fly. Nice fatal yellow. Great fish. Can you pick it that? Yeah, I got a picture of that one. Well, we just can't keep the Almaco Jack off the line, so we're gonna pack up, head off to a different shipwreck, see if we can't catch some grouper. <laughs> got tons of red snapper. Unfortunately, they're out of season, and we couldn't keep any. There's old Heathy fishing. There's Jason fishing. Nice red grouper we just got. Pulled up on one of my little reefs here. So we got one for dinner. We just got another one for dinner. He's a little bleedy, so we're gonna let him bleed out in the live well for a second. But that's some excellent eating. Good sandwiches. Fried nuggets, good stuff. All right, what's Heath got behind you? We got a red snapper. That's a little guy. Unfortunately, red and snapper season's not right now. That's well, just a little one, but we'll uh, we'll let him go get grown up. But they all live together in the same reef, so. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we, got, we each got one. Hey, we're getting them. So I've been fishing a long time, well over 50 years. This captain was unbelievable. He knew exactly where to go, like the numbers. As soon as you got there, you dropped a line and you're catching fish. I've never seen nothing like that before. Fish today for Ricky. Look at him, he can barely go. Woo! This one's taking me for a ride. Is it fighting different? Oh yeah. And your old man, you know he's got another monster up yeah, there. Yeah, he's got a grouper keeper. We know that one. <laughs> Mine's not even film him. Yes, sir. It's, water. it's another big man. Oh, yeah. That is a wall mounting fish right there. That is a stud. Woo! Great job. Excellent job. Let's go. All right, guys. We just got one of these monster mangrove snapper. It's probably the biggest one of the day, definitely so far. Um, we've been catching red snapper to red snapper. We finally got through and got this guy. Really, really good table fair. Did he give you a fight? No, he gave me a fight. <laughs> Oh, good. Excellent. The old man's proud of his kid. We're on. Okay. Big John. Throw me 10 million. I'll just pay you back. Okay. Well, one thing about it, you never really know what you're going to catch out here. And as you can see right here, Rick's got a big old eel on. And luckily, he comes off just as he was going to pull him into the boat. Got Rick needed the break, so it was my turn to do a little Hands fishing. Down, but a little weight. Didn't take long, had a nice red grouper on. Grouper. Nice fish. Wow. That's what we come down here to the Gulf. Great job. All right, so we got ourselves a nice red grouper down here. We've had a heck of a day so far, and we still got a few more of these catch. I think this is maybe the fifth one going live well, so I think we still have maybe three to get. This was the old man's fish, but Mother right. Nature called, and he had to run off to the bathroom, so. Hey, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> team effort, no I in team. <laughs> All right. Good job, Jason. All right, guys, I, we had a fish that I, I was... had to bring them in to help me reel because I'm all crippled up, all right? We had a big group of them that got stuck in the rocks. I've been playing them out here for a few minutes. I finally team, got them out of the rocks. Team effort here, team effort. Team. I 
back the drag off a lot because I don't know the condition of the leader. I don't know where that hook is positioned on, so I'm trying to take my time with him. But it feels like probably the bigger fish of the day. Right. Exactly. Now I hooked him. Oh, he cracked. Uh, uh, that was your uh, fish, your fish. Oh, it is my fish. You just helped me reel it. It's all. That thing. Oh, also, look, Daddy, huh? look at that leader all jacked up. He was all in the rocks all the way up to here. So that's how far in the rocks it was. get a nice picture of my fish. Yeah. Right. That is a monster. Bucket mouth. What are you thinking? What's it feeling like? Hopefully another big mangrove. It's not a grouper. I don't want the red snapper. Got another big man! Nice, nice. Holy shit! I really don't want to leave now. Oh, swing a minute. Oh, I let the line out for me. Please open that track. Great job! Heck yeah! Amazing Woo. fish! That is a star. What do you think you got here? All right, guys, well, I was dropping down little pinfish to try to get these snapper, and I got a much bigger fish on. Kind of nervous because it's a little jig head, small hook, only 30 pound leader. So I'm taking it real easy. 30 pound Jumbo leader. red snapper. Jeez. Jumbo. You got a mouthful of uh, look at all the pinfish, all of our baits are all <laughs> stacked inside of them. Look at that. He's been eating them. Look, it's th one, two, three. I think there's more back there, yeah. some other digested stuff. Woo. That's awesome. It's a beaut. Man, we caught so many fish, we're just starting to run out of time on this episode. So, we got to start heading back towards shore. We're make one pit stop to a spot where Tim calls the aquarium. He wants to show us something, and we're gonna go back and start cleaning some fish. He's got a spot. He won't give nobody the numbers, but he went there, and they're all his pet fish. He started throwing minnows overboard, and the fish came up by the thousands. The water was boiling. I never, ever seen that. Like, you'll see in the footage. I gotta tell you, this trip was amazing. From the boat, to the captain, to the sea conditions. It was a lake out there. The well, this was probably the best fishing trip I've ever been on with my family. This had a great time. You cannot complain about a day like that. Look at them three happy souls right there. This is the life we live out here on the water, beach and sun.